I speak to you today as the Bishop of the Susquehanna Conference of the United Methodist Church. I want to talk to you about the crisis in the Penn State community, which is a part of our conference. Let me speak first to any of you who might be a victim of the alleged crimes. And in some ways, there are many victims. I want you to know that you are a person for whom God cares deeply. I pray diligently for God's healing touch at this difficult time of your life. You who are children should never have to endure what is alleged to have happened. And we pray for you. I speak with compassion as well for those countless persons who have been devastated by broken trust in this crisis. I pray for your healing also. I pray for you who are part of the Penn State community, and that's those currently there as students, those who are part of the staff and administration and teaching faculty, those who live in State College and are deeply touched, those who are graduates and look to their alma mater with pride. That pride is justified. Penn State is a wonderful institution, transforming lives of people, offering hope, offering possibilities. That is not diminished by this tragedy. And so as the eyes of the world are on Penn State, may it be a time of redeciding the roots and the value of what this university offers to all of us. I pray for the decision makers on whose shoulders rests the burden of making fair and just decisions for the future of Penn State community. May God give you wisdom. I call for, on all of us who are per persons of faith to be agents of peace in the midst of this turmoil and crisis. Can we be healers? And I want to say that as United Methodists, we are committed to providing safe places for people who gather in our churches through our safe sanctuary policies. We are most particularly committed to protecting children and youth. This is a time for us to re-decide what we will do to support the safe sanctuary policies and to care for our most precious possessions, our most precious asset, our children and youth. May we be diligent in those efforts, and may the God in whom we put our trust lead all of us to a new beginning, a time of hope. 